Hello, good morning students. Today we will study something regarding antigen-antibody interactions. Antigen-antibody interactions, they are very important in immune responses. Antigens, they have specific site on them which are known as epitope. Whereas the antibodies, they have specific site known as paratope. Anti epitope and paratope they bind with each other like lock and key type of arrangement. Antigen antibody interaction is specific chemical interaction between antibodies produced by the B cells of WBC and antigen during the immune response. The antigen and antibody combine by the process called agglutination. It is the fundamental reaction in the body by which the body is protected from complex foreign molecules such as pathogen and their chemical toxins. In the blood, antigens are specifically and with high affinity bound by antibodies to form an antigen antibody complex. The immune complex is then transported to the cellular system where it can be destroyed or deactivated. So in this animation you can see that there is one antigen bacteria which has got the epitopes. This bacteria is attracted by the antibodies. The antibodies they are having the paratope. There is an interaction between the epitope and the paratope. The antibodies they bind with the epitope and form a complex known as antigen antibody complex. This complex is attracted towards the cell with the help of the FC receptors. So they bind with the FC receptor. The FC receptor takes this antigen antibody complex into the cell and form a phagosome. This phagosome binds with the lysosome and the enzymes present in the lysosome, they dissolve the antigen and it is destroyed or lysis is there. So in this way, the antigen is deactivated or destroyed in the cell through antigen antibody interaction. There are several types of antibodies and antigen and each antibody is capable of binding to a specific antigen. The specificity of binding is due to specific chemical constitution of each antibody. The antigenic determinants or the epitome is recognized by the paratope of the antibody situated at the variable region of the polypeptide chain. The variable region in turn has hyper variable regions which are unique amino acid sequence in each antibody. The antigens are bound to antibodies through weak and non-covalent interactions such as ionic interactions, hydrogen bonds, electrostatic interactions and wonderful forces. So various interactions they are there between the antigen and antibodies. So one by one we'll study. First of all the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is formed between the OH of 1 and O oxygen containing lone pair of the another. Second is the ionic bond. Ionic bond is formed between NH3 positive means positively charged ion of one and negative O negative of another. Then we have the hydrophobic bond. It is formed between two very big molecules. Then is the Van der Waal interaction. Van der Waal interaction is formed between the two when the space between the two molecule is very less. 
so in this way these are the four important interactions which are there during the antigen antibody interactions that is the hydrogen bonds the ionic bonds the hydrophobic bonds and the vulnerable interaction they are weak and non covalent right so like antibodies antigens can be multivalent either through multiple copies of the same epitope or through presence of multiple epitope that are recognized by the multiple antibodies so antigen antibodies interaction they are of many different types that is they can lead to neutralization that is the blocking of viral binding site that is that this is suppose the antigen the virus particle the antibodies they block them they will not allow this virus or bacteria to enter into the cell they block their site so that they will not enter into the uh, cell so this is regarding the neutralization then is agglutination in the agglutination the particular matter they are clamped together so antibodies they will bind with them and they will not uh, allow the bacteria to work further and then third is the precipitation precipitation is there when the antigen is small molecule and it is soluble molecule then the antibodies they will bind to form a precipitate and then is the they are responsible for the activation of the complement system which is responsible for the cell lysis so whether the there is neutralization agglutination or precipitation the fate is all of them the antigen antibody complex which is formed it must be removed from the system that is it must be engulfed by the phagocyte and then with the help of the lysozymes it must be lysed and removed from the body so antigen antibody interactions they are having a, a large number of applications in for example western blot immunohistochemistry then immunocytochemistry then enzyme linked immunosorbent assays immunoprecipitation flow cytometry in these various tests we are using the antigen antibody interaction so what is this that is we have got one uh, well where the antibody is present and we made the antigen to bind with it and we have the detection antibody which is combined with the help of one detection uh, enzymatic conjugate and then we add a substrate if this substrate it, it, its color it changes it means the reaction is positive otherwise the reaction is negative so in this way we find with the help of the antigen and antibody interaction whether the particular type of antigen is present in the system in the body or not so this is regarding the this is suppose one antigen this antigen is having different types of the epitopes one antigen can have many epitopes and which are uh, binded with the help of different types of the antibodies or one antigen can have the similar epitopes which are uh, conjugated with the help of the same type of antibody so see here in the you can say the shape is different if the shape is different means the epitope is different and different type of antibody it will bind to the antigen so this is regarding the antigen antibody complex it is weak and non covalent basically it is hydrogen bond basically it is ionic bond one to one interaction and hydrophobic interaction so these are responsible for the antigen antibody interactions i hope the concept is clear thank you